Hey guys, I'm gonna try to fix something here in my shop that I've been, I've known it isn't installed correctly for some time, it just hadn't been a problem. But my air conditioner, I'm gonna show you up there, sits over this room right here. And I just have storage in here. So I do not want any water damage getting to that room because I don't go in there very often and it could happen without me knowing it so stay tuned i'm gonna install some nice safeties on this drain here we go all right so the safety that this has on it is a ss2 and if you look right here on the emergency drain there is no switch and it's capped off so i'm gonna put a float switch on the pan and i'm gonna replace this ss2 oh i'm recording i didn't think i was recording This is my float switch wire. It looks like I'm breaking red and the other side's going to my thermostat reds. That's good. All right, so these, that's the float switch for the drain pan that I wanna use and this is what I want to use for my overflow, this auxiliary drain, because um, it has the little switch on it, which I can reset. It lets me know if it has tripped. Same thing with this one. So let's get to it. All right, let's turn that off. Here's my wires coming through. I might need those wires. Here's one. Here's the other. Let's just, for the time being, we're just going to cut these right there. Let me get this out. All right, that's my SS2. So pull what's left of this SS2 out. Sorry if y'all can't see what I'm doing. But I'm just getting this getting this completely out this is this uses what's called a magnetic reed and this uses an actual float This has to go right here. All right, should I glue it? I 
think I'm going to glue this piece right here. Leave that unglued. If I can. Hmm. I like how all of this can, can just come apart. I got to say, I got it stuck on there just a second ago and I couldn't get it off. All right, so this piece just kind of snaps on there. One second, I'm gonna try to show you. It does come off quite easily, so. It just, it does just. You see, you can pull it right out right there. You want that to be level, the little red pieces of float. Let's see if we can, yeah, we can put that in this way. You see, I got that. It has this little reset button on it that allows it to work. This is the float that I'm going to put on the drain pan. It also has a resettable switch on it. it. Looks like the mechanics are exactly the same. But I have folded up this piece right here. Hopefully I can slide this down over it. And you'll see that slides right down. Tighten this up. I'm gonna feel much better about leaving the air conditioning on now because it's not gonna cause any water damage. wire nut all right these are the wires coming from the other float switch and I'm gonna show you how I wire these two together goes over here all right this goes to my red thermostat wires it's gonna make one big loop Okay, so the other side of this, of this one, goes to this one. And that's what I'm going to need my wire nut for. And then this one goes to my red wire, this one. So this is wire coming from the system, my 24 volt hot. All right, I know I had 
but uh, let me go get some wire nuts. It looks like I need two of them. I had another one here, but I lost it. I'll be right back. All right, to go over how I have this wired up. Tell you what, why don't we start from the other side? And I'll walk you through it that way. Red from the system goes out through this, goes through this switch here, comes back here, and then it goes through this switch and comes back here and goes to my thermostat wires. So now all we gotta do is make that look nice. All right, this system's ready to go. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. And these are the products I used. I'm gonna be using these more often. This is the BG-110 by Assurity. And this is the one that I used to replace the SS-2. It's the BG-301 Plus. You're probably gonna see a lot more of that one on my channel because I like the way that it falls and causes a trouble call if it's backing up like that you need to address it immediately instead of letting it reset and reset and reset until it develops into a more serious problem so i like those i hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one